Hi, I'm Lori. And I'm Rick. And we are Here We Go Again Camping. Guys, guess what day it is? Time to dewinterize. Dewinterization. I'm so excited because that means it's almost time to go camping. Yeah, we'll be camping soon. Yes. I wish we were already camping, but things didn't wrap up the way we wanted them to. It's like we went from summer to winter here. I don't know about everybody else. But, but yeah, it is an exciting day. I, well, I love your enthusiasm. I'm not going to like it when I'm sweating. Yeah. But I like it now. I'm surprised you're ready to work, but it is camping, so it, it's a good thing to do. But uh, thanks for stopping by and checking out this video. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like it or if you find it helpful. Subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you can get our upcoming videos. But stay tuned. So I guess step one would be getting some water. <laughs> can't, you can't dewinterize without water. So we're gonna go ahead and connect. Uh, we're at home, so we're gonna uh, connect everything up so we can get some water going in, and so we can flush uh, our faucets, get to, get rid of the antifreeze. So. so we want to go from uh, winterizing two and four to city fixtures two and six. Now we're ready. Okay, so now we are actually in the camper and I am going to actually turn on the water faucet that is farthest from our tank, well, from the line. And I'm gonna start with cold water first. And you'll see it's kind of a foamy pink color. You wanna wait until it runs clear to make sure all the antifreeze is out. And even sometimes, it takes a while and every now and then you'll get squirts of pink in it, but it's actually running pretty clear right here. Best way to find out is if you're not quite sure, look in the, yep. But antifreeze does kind of make it foamy for some reason. I don't know why. You can also hear some air in there from where we, winterized it. Okay, that's pretty much all you do. So you do cold water. Now we're running hot. Yes, running hot. Of course it's not going to be hot because I don't have my We don't have on. the hot water tank on. Because right? <laughs> we, you do not put water in the hot water tank. You don't put antifreeze in the hot water tank. You bypass it during the winterization process. Yes, and we never switched it back. And we will do so, we will switch the bypass after we're done um, with all the faucets. Which I think you can actually, once you winterize it, you can actually flip it back because no water or antifreeze is gonna go into the hot water tank. But just in case, you should always check in the spring to make sure you didn't uh, forget to turn the bypass off. There you go. You're correct. We're good. So these shouldn't take as long because we've already done the other. But... See, didn't take as long. <laughs> Starting with the one farthest first, it doesn't take as long. There's that. Shower. Hopefully there's no dead bugs. <laughs> no, there's that no. would have been nice to bring David <laughs> in to take care of that one. Or snakes. Okay. Gotta remember how to work my shower head. You can see all the pink. But it's already running clear. Turn off the one. Try the other. Pink is good. Pink is good. And clear is better because you know that you're getting the real water in. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. <laughs> All right, drain it and turn off the shower head. 
So we're going to flush the toilets. Which you don't have to. I mean, you don't drink it, but we're going <laughs> to anyways. Yeah. And as you can see, Ew. the pink. So you knew our lines had antifreeze in it, which is always good. It didn't leak out during the winter. And that's it. And if y'all noticed, there was already pink in it because I pour excess antifreeze down the drain. Yep. So basically, it's good. All of our lines are good. We're going to run out and do the shower because it's the closest one. I mean, technically, you, you can do it first. The outside shower, yes. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't make no difference, but we, we choose to do the furthest from the uh, water line. Yes. And just a heads up to the people that actually have ice dispensers or water dispensers in their refrigerator. We do not. Check your owner's manual. I'm not quite sure how you winterize those, so you need to check your owner's manual to make sure yeah. how you do that. Well, I mean, it's a good point because we've been checking out fifth wheels. They A lot of them have the uh, ice makers. Also, they have their uh, dishwashers. And, they do have dishwashers and, and washers and dryers, so... Yeah. yeah, those are something that out of my realm because I've never had one in a camper, but make sure you check your owner's manual for yeah. that. So let's run outside and hit the outside shower. Okay. Go. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Lori's taking care of the inside. She's putting me on all the outside duties. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that, but we're going to use this bucket. You technically do not have to because this antifreeze is safe to drink. I wouldn't drink a lot of it. Oh, neither. <laughs> since we have pets and we just don't want them to get sick, whatever. Uh, we're just going to be extra cautious, like I say, and uh, put the water into the bucket. So we're checking our shower. This shouldn't take long at all since it's so close okay. to the... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Main tank. Yeah, okay. main line. Yeah, I'm, we're I'm good. colorblind, so I can't really tell the pink and the clear. Uh, <laughs> we're good. So we're good. Lori's giving me the thumbs up to try to do the hot his, water. His pink is clear and the square yeah. pink. So for all you out there that are colorblind like me, good luck. <laughs> Have somebody to tell you when it's... <laughs> it so, runs clear. Yeah. It's actually running clear now, too. It's a good deal. That, I mean, super easy. I mean, dewinterizing is, is not very difficult. Uh, it's an it's a easy process to do. You can do it at home. Save a little bit of money and don't take it to the uh, dealership. I mean, you just don't want to mess with it. You can actually do it on your first camping trip as well, but then you're taking the chance that if something does happen something and go wrong. wrong, then. Right. I mean, that, and that's yeah, if why a pipe we, does bust right, during that's the one winter. That's the reason why we don't do it. Uh, and you know, all the antifreeze besides this for the outside shower has went into our holding tank. And we'll just empty that the next time we go camping. It's not a big deal. Just leave it in there and uh, we'll get rid of it then. Shouldn't make a mess. Shouldn't stink or anything. It's no. just... And we're not using that much water either. So it's good. Absolutely not. So here is underneath our camper. Just checking to make sure no water has leaked underneath from any pipes that may have burst. Not seeing any water underneath the camper at where any of the pipes are. So that is great news. The only water I see is where it's dripping down the hose here from the connection. And that usually happens anyways if you don't get a tight enough connection. So All right, so just an FYI, we are not sanitizing our tank. Uh, we really don't have any need to do it. It's a great time now to go ahead and change out your water filter if you have them. And also give a check on your tires. Make sure there's no dry rot uh, or any cracks or anything like that in your tires. Okay guys, so this is a perfect time to actually check your propane levels and thankfully we did because we are on empty because I cook so much. <laughs> Anyways, good time to check your propane tank. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and check the roof. I got my son up here with me. Uh, we just want to check the membrane, make sure there's no rips or tears in it, anything that uh, could get some water in it. Also, we're going to go around and check the ceiling. Uh, around everything make sure it's if you've seen any of our previous videos I normally do this uh, and I'll leave a tag for those up here I, I check the roof about once a month just so I'll know if there's anything wrong then I could get it to the dealership and get it repaired before camping season starts but every time I normally have the camper at home uh, I go ahead and check the roof but I suggest that you do the same because you don't want any uh, surprises when it comes to leaks. All right, so we're going to check our batteries. If you've removed your battery, 
Uh, some people do that uh, when they winterize. Go ahead and install your water or your battery. Check your water levels. Uh, ours was a little low, so we're checking the water level. We add a little bit of uh, water to it, so we're ready to go. And here I am schooling Rick in how to check the oil levels <laughs> in the motorhome. <laughs> Later, we'll be checking out the generator. Hi, campers. Thank you for watching our video. We really appreciate all the support. And guys, if you want to check out some other videos of ours, click up here. And if you want to become a subscriber, which I hope you will, click down here. Yeah. Also, you can check out our apparel shop by clicking over here. But until next time, safe travels and God bless.